is back with my last story. Before that, we want to wish happy birthday to Tina Turner, the queen of rock and roll. <laughs> She's 72. Still look good from her legs. But anyway, you know, she does not eat cake. So don't wish her happy birthday or give her birthday cake. Because she still hears in the in the voices and in the background of Ike Turner saying to her, Eddie Murray! Eddie Murray! Eat that cake! Eddie Murray! Eddie Murray! Eat that cake! Eat that cake, Eddie Murray! Better eat that cake! Girl, you better eat that cake, Eddie Murray! So, don't do that. But anyway, last story, the NBA lockout is over. Yes. What can you say about that? Well, the NBA, uh, the players and the agent, they walked out. David Stern was like, and they'll walk out for a while. They'll be coming back, especially when there's economic problems in America and global economic crisis. Yes, he was. He's a shrewd man, a brilliant man, David Stern. He can control those. Brothers, man, man, you be thinking that slavery was abolished and really the, the slaves didn't have no control. But I ain't going there. But anyway, the thing is, here it is. They walked out, they want more money. They want more money. Want more money. But then, all of a sudden, when the players' wives <laughs> uh, needed money for Christmas, house payments, the homes almost being repossessed, the children of their wives and mistresses, and girlfriends, you know, the mistresses need their money too. They say, uh, they say, hey, where's my money? And so that pressure them, and then especially it's Christmas coming up. Mm. You know they got upset uh, because Black Friday is coming up, and and they needed to go ahead and stop it. If they don't stop it, uh, the the lockout, then they will have a lot of arguments from their wives, mistresses, and girlfriends. And then next thing you know, oh yeah, and their creditors about their homes, their cars, uh, their electronic devices. So they said, oh, man, we're going to have to stop, man. Damn, man, man, we can get to an agreement. Derek Fisher, man, you, you help us, man. Derek Fisher is a brilliant man. So, you know, a young man, you say, hey, call the strikes off. Call it off. We'll, we'll get back and go basketball, man. We'll go basketball again. Yeah, let's do it. Let's hoop it up again. Yeah. They don't want to go to the um, Italian League or uh, Japanese League or Chinese League. <laughs> they know they outreach uh, all the players. They bunch of midgets. 
especially in the Philippines. But anyway, the thing is, it was better for them to get back to playing basketball so they won't be harassed by their wives, mistresses, girlfriends, children, all their children, that is. And then here it is, Christmas coming up. They want uh, TVs, 60-inch TVs and above, the computers, iPad, iPhones, you know, and that's it's the children now. I'm not saying about the, the wives, you know, gold wings, jewelry, more clothes, um, another car, expensive car. So the players have to get back, get back to work so they won't hear all that nagging and and running away from alimony. They have to uh, go ahead and make the payment to, uh, to shut the women up. <laughs> so they don't get back to hooping it up. This is LTL, LTL Editorial News. And let me tell you, tomorrow we'll talk about Pakistan, why uh, they want NATO to go. Especially the helicopter crash which killed 25 of uh, Pakistan soldiers. So get, get out of here, NATO, and others. LTL is Sony!